everybody, it's Christine, and today I've got some fall layouts to share with you and some different ideas on how to create those fall layouts and different things that help me create the same thing over and over every year, um, how I'm able to change it up and make things interesting. So this first one is a really simple tip, and that is base it on fall colors. Now, specifically, those fall colors that you have going on in the background, like on this one, I have all these beautiful leaves. So I pulled that in, and even though this blue has nothing to do with fall, it still is able to pull in the background and coordinate perfectly with the fall embellishments that I already had. Second tip, you cannot go wrong with a cute tree, seriously. So you can either use a sticker tree like I did here with this one from Doodlebug and then add on sticker leaves or you can really easily cut out a tree and cut out leaves or use a silhouette or a cricket and cut those out but you just can't go wrong there and coordinating that with all your other embellishments is just the perfect fall addition. Third use lots of little embellishments. Fall is all about movement and all those beautiful things that we see happening with those trees and leaves and so I like to really bring a lot of movement into my fall layouts and one way I'm able to do that is by using little embellishments. They really mimic the look of falling leaves and whatever and this like this layout you can see it really has a fall feel to it because there's just lots of little things trickling around on the layout drawing your eye all around it. Next up, build a huge title and bring your pictures into it. So this title is huge, but the pictures do not get drowned out because they are right in the middle of it. So I did this title, so I did it in two parts, celebrate fall, up above, down below, two totally different textures going on here. But because they surround the picture, the pictures still remain the focus of the whole layout. Next, and this is a tip that I like for pretty much every season, go neutral and then add in embellishments that coordinate with your season. You do not have to buy an entire collection in order to be able to scrapbook a pretty fall layout or a pretty Christmas layout or a pretty Halloween layout. Any of those can be done with mostly neutrals and some simple things like a sticker pack, little paper clips, Okay, all that I have on here is strictly neutral stuff in fall colors and then just a few little embellishments to bring out the fall season. So that is a really easy way when the budget is tight to be able to work on something for the season, even if you don't have tons of embellishments to work with. Okay, fall patterns. There tends to always be a big patterned paper in every collection, whether it's big pumpkins, big leaves, all those things. Fussy cut. Look at your papers and say, hey, how can I pull those out and make a unique design? This all comes from one patterned paper that had these beautiful big leaves on them, and I just simply went around and cut them out and then used them to create a whole new design apart from the patterned paper. That is a great way to stretch your supplies and really make a patterned paper very unique for you. That is something that I'm always on the lookout for. How can I fuzzy cut to make this a fantastic, standout, different paper? Okay, this one's probably a given, but focus on what you're grateful for. So instead of always trying to incorporate, hey, I have to have this perfect fall photo, I have to have a photo in the leaves, yada, 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 you don't. You can focus on, if you wanna do a family layout about how you're grateful for your family, just pick a family picture. It does not have to be fall related. Um, November's a great time to really focus on things we're thankful for. And for me, some of those, most of those pictures might have nothing to do with fall, but because I put it in a fall layout, it does look like it's a fall uh, scrapbook page. And so that comes out through my whole page, but the picture is the story. Okay, as I talked about earlier, fall, we see a lot of movement. We see the leaves falling. Um, everywhere you go, you see leaves trickling off of trees and if you 
are all watching kids. They're always playing in the leaves and throwing them and stuff. And so one of the things I want to point out is to create movement on your layout. And I talked about small embellishments. You can see that again on this. But you can also see that I have got movement from stitching. So I've got swirled stitching here. And you can see this whole thing just moves down the layout because of the design I incorporated. So figure out how you can make leaves or stitching um, show movement. And that really enhances the fall look. Another favorite of mine for just about any season is creating a scene. And you can see here, I built my picture into these trees in the background on the patterned paper. And then I added little critters and added hearts and just made a whole scene around fall. And it completely has the fall feel. Now imagine you can take this apart, maybe change up the colors of your washi tape, change a few of the characters, and you could have a spring layout easily. Okay, build in your current season into a scene and creating a scene is such a fun fun way to scrapbook it's one of my favorite things to do because it just makes you smile as you're doing it and it just turns out cute and whimsical so my final tip is to play off of fall words fall phrases okay so a lot of times we see piles of leaves and miles of and piles of leaves and pumpkin spice stuff and whatever so play off of a fun fall phrase that you can work into a layout. So I have piles of smiles and clearly my boys are sitting in piles of leaves here. Uh, so it works perfectly for telling the story of fall and, and people can relate to that, but it also, um, doesn't just tell the story of fall, but it, it incorporates the story of them. So there are my tips for you on fall layouts. You can check them out up close over on my blog, and I will link you up to lots of my favorite fall supplies down below. Thanks so much for being here today, and we will see you again soon.